Hola muchachos, welcome to the video. And today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the reasons why you might be struggling to build muscle with calisthenics. So we all already know that it is so possible for you to build a godlike physique using just the power of your body weight. And even though calisthenics is an amazing style of training, a lot of you tend to make a lot of mistakes that stops you from making a whole lot of gains. And one of the things that could be holding you back could simply be because you're focusing way too much on skills. So I totally get it because when you get into calisthenics, what tends to draw a lot of us in is moves like the back lever, front lever, handstand, planche. I mean, don't get me wrong, these movements look beautiful to the eye, but they're not the best when it comes to building muscle because First of all, they take quite a good amount of dedication and practice before you can actually master them. And they are isometric movements and they're gonna have you stimulating your muscle at a fixed angle, hence limiting your chances for growth. But if you're very serious about a lot of growth, instead of focusing on your skills, you wanna really focus on your dynamic movements. Because muchachos, these movements are very easy to get started with and they also have you working your muscles throughout a full range of motion. But I do have to add that even though you're gonna see more progress if you focus on your dynamics, it doesn't mean you need to neglect your skill work at all. In fact, you can combine the both and still make a whole lot of progress. But what you wanna do instead is when you're working on your skills, only focus on one or two skills at a time during a training block. That way, you still have time to focus on them and you can put a lot more energy into your dynamic movements and build some real muscle mass. But I also have to add that even if you're doing the perfect exercises, none of that is gonna matter if you don't focus on progression. Because look, even if you're doing all the perfect exercises, if you keep doing the same exact thing over and over again, you are guaranteed to look exactly the same. Stop it, get some help. So how you correct this is over time, you want to make your training sessions more intense. And one simple way of doing this is by simply adding more reps. Because when it comes to building muscle, a very popular concept tells you that you want to focus on training within the eight to 12 rep range. But muchacho, the real truth is, you can actually build muscle from as wide as five all the way up to 30 reps. This means that if you currently have a bodyweight exercise that you can do up to 30 reps with, you have a lot more chance of progress and a lot more chance of making some gains. In fact, this is exactly what my boys in New York do because they tend to focus on the basic movements and they do a lot of high intensity and high rep training and yet look how incredible they look. This means if you want to make long-term gains in calisthenics, it's actually very smart of you to actually train with multiple rep ranges. And one way you can do this is to actually take advantage of using harder variations. So muchacho, let's just say for example, you are extremely good at doing push-ups and you can do way more than 30. But yet, you wanna bring down your rep range and make exercise more challenging. You can do this by using a harder variation like feet elevator push-ups, or my favorite variation of all time, the ring push-up. So by using harder variations, you're gonna make your workouts a lot more challenging over time and hence cause more growth. But there's also a simpler way of actually making more progress with calisthenics that a lot of you tend to not focus on. And that's because you are so afraid of adding load. I personally believe this is the easiest way for you to progress when it comes to calisthenics. Because when you add load, you can actually just focus only on the basic movements and just add more weight to your body over time as you get stronger. Also, while on the topic of adding load, one thing we need to understand in calisthenics is that a lot of these movements are compound exercises, meaning they work a lot of muscles at once. And yes, in the big picture, they're gonna help you build the most amount of muscle. But as you get stronger, you might actually notice that you might have some lagging body parts as well. But when you add in some weights into the equation, you allow yourself to actually isolate those muscles very effectively. And this is one of the reasons why bodybuilders tend to love doing isolations.
And while we're at it, we have to address the elephant in the room. And that is the fact that calisthenics is not the best when it comes to building your legs. Because let's be real, when you start, sure, air squats and pistols might get you some decent looking legs, but if you want to really maximize the size and aesthetics you can put in your legs, you gotta really focus on hitting them weights. And this is exactly why also bodybuilders use these. So in my opinion, there's no point in fixing what ain't broke. And I actually think that you're gonna get the best physique if you actually combine calisthenics and weightlifting. And that's exactly why I made a free ebook for you guys talking about five rules that you can follow that can help you build muscle by combining weights and calisthenics. So if you want to learn more about that, pick up that ebook for free using the link in the description box below. So muchachos, if you focus on the right exercises, progression, and also not being afraid of adding load, you are well on your way to getting aesthetic as hell. But though, I do have to say that none of that matters if you have ab anxiety. So this is something I have noticed with a lot of people that get into calisthenics. They are either skinny from the jump or they are super obsessed with getting lean. And something these two groups of people have in common is they tend to undereat a lot and tend to spend a lot of time in a caloric deficit. And muchacho, when you're trying to build muscle, this is not the way to go. Because I get it, I know a lot of you already know that for you to build muscle, you need to be in a caloric surplus. But when you're in a caloric surplus, there's also a risk of you actually putting on a little bit of fat. And a lot of you are so afraid to not lose your abs that you would do anything not to be in a surplus. Like for example, do silly things like main gaining or gain taining when you're actually eating the same exact calories your body needs every single day. But I'm telling y'all, if you use the main gaining strategy, you are gonna waste a ton of time and you're gonna end up eating like a hamster. And just like a hamster, you're gonna look like a hamster, spinning your wheels forever going absolutely nowhere. Stop it, get some help. So the smarter way to go about this is to actually eat in a small caloric surplus where you gain weight very slowly and accept the fact that you are gonna build muscle and also put on a little bit of fat in the process. But on the bright side, once you actually are happy with your size, you can then go on a cut and actually show all the muscle you built in the process and look Magnifico. All right, muchacho, as you can see, it's actually not that difficult to build muscle with calisthenics, especially if you follow some of the points I said in this video. So get to training hard. And before we get out of here, you gotta make sure to always strive to improve, even if just a little bit, each and every single day. Kaizen, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.